So we have a situation on our hands. If you haven't seen my previous video about how I rescued a water snake, I'd recommend watching that because that will give you all of the background that you need to know. But basically there was an injured water snake. I rescued it and couldn't find a rehabber to take it in, couldn't find a vet that would take wild snakes. So Maddie and I decided we were gonna try to help it out ourselves and we've been treating its wounds and whatnot and Basically our end goal is once it's healed, we're gonna release it. I came down here to check on it and I, I found a lot of babies. So that's pretty exciting. So mother snake is right there, just, you know, chilling in the corner. And basically I look in here, everything looks normal, right? Everything looks just as it should be other than, you know, like, it looks like a lot of fluid was leaked down here, and it's like, oh, what happened? Well, friends, behold, those are all baby snakes. Isn't that insane? Just look at how many of them there are. I don't even know how many there are because I haven't counted yet, but they're just like tiny little babies, and they're so cute. That's pretty exciting. We now have about, I don't know, I'd probably guess around 20 maybe snakes, maybe 30, I don't know. But I'm gonna take them all out and I'm going to count them and separate them from the mother. But yeah, I just really was not expecting to just come down here and see this. I was quite surprised to say the least. <laughs> Alright, so I just went ahead and cleaned up her enclosure, so it's all nice and clean in there, and I gave her her betadine bath and put the topical treatment on her wounds. I think she's gotten used to being handled by me a little bit, so she isn't quite as flighty as she was, obviously, when I first got her. Temptation to keep all of them for myself is real. Luckily, they do not need their mom. Uh, once snakes are either hatched or, in this case, birthed, they are pretty much on their own and they just fend for themselves. So we can actually just go ahead and take these guys and release them outside. We can probably just go back around where we found the mom and just let them go. Kind of sad because they're really cute. I don't have any use for 25 water snakes though. We're about to go let the snakes go where we found the mother snake. I put the babies in the tub for the ride over. Some of them are shedding as you can see, like mid shed, especially that one. So yeah, we're just gonna go release them. We're gonna let the babies go. This is basically where we found them. We tried to find a spot where there wasn't going to be a bunch of people, kind of away from the trail, because we originally found them by a trail. I'm sad to let them go, but it's what we have to do. Be free, my children. Oh. <laughs> go on. So, so far they're doing a great job of hiding in the grass. One was hiding under my foot. You need to find a better spot to hide than that. Go on, over there, that way. So we let all of the snakes go. They're all out there in the wild. I was so tempted to keep some of them because they were, you know, born into captivity. But yeah, I just wasn't confident enough to keep them because I don't actually know that much about water snakes or like how to care for them. And I just figured the most responsible thing to do was to release them, but it was just so hard because they're so cute and I just really wanted to keep some of them, but it's okay. We can come back to this spot and go herping and try to find some find of the babies. Baby. But yeah, to everyone who told me that I should have killed the snake that I found on my last video, 
good thing I didn't because she gave birth to 25 babies. So, um, yeah, good thing I didn't kill her. And that's why if you find an injured animal, maybe don't kill it. I don't know. There's a chance it could give birth to 25 more that you wouldn't be giving a chance. Are you going to go in the water? He's so close. What if he just went in and then a fish came and ate don't, him? Please don't manifest that. Oh my god, that would be so sad. I don't know if you guys can see him really well. I thought he was going in the water, but it looks like he's just taking a drink. All right, so as you guys can tell, camera's kind of dirty. It's not what I was going to say, but I saw something. Anyways, as you guys saw, we let the water snakes go, so it was kind of sad. Because obviously when a snake gives birth to 25 babies in your house, it's tempting to keep them. At least for me it was. I posted about this on TikTok and so many people were like, nope. 25 snakes, nope. But for me it's like, I kind of want to keep some. I should have known better than trying to film up here at 9 p.m. The birds are like, it's bedtime. I'll just go downstairs. We're continuing this conversation in the basement, so we don't bother the birds. If you have pet parrots, you understand that birds control your life. Anyways, I just knew the best thing to do probably was to just let them go because obviously I don't know a ton about their care. I'm planning on keeping the mom until, uh, you know, she's healed and then I'm letting her go. But by all means, I have her in a really temporary setup and I don't plan on keeping her, so... As for the mother snake, how long have I had it for? I don't even know how long I've had. Just time isn't really something that actually exists for me anymore, so it's hard for me to keep track. Apparently it's been two weeks since we picked up the injured water snake, so that's cool. I had no idea. It did not feel like two weeks. Apparently we've had it for two weeks, though. So I'm going to show you the progress on her wounds. Obviously her wounds were pretty severe and are not going to be healed like very quickly So don't expect it to look like completely healed over. It does look better though And it looks promising that it will continue to get better as we talked about before Chances are I will have to keep the snake over the winter I'll probably keep her cold over the winter to kind of replicate the natural brumation that they would usually go through in the winter in Michigan. So I don't throw her off or anything. I want to make it as natural for her as possible to be kept in my basement, um, <laughs> in my home, in a tank and not in the wild. But I want to try to replicate kind of the environment and like the temperatures just so it's natural and less stressful for her. That's something I saw some people mention, so I did want to say that that is what I do plan on doing. It is looking like her wounds probably aren't going to be healed enough that I can let her go before the ground freezes. Again, hopefully that's not the case, but it is looking like we will have to keep her over the winter and then we'll just release her in the spring. Anyways, let's just go check her out. Um, I'm gonna go show you the progress that she's made. So here she is. As you can see, she is doing well. So there's her wound. As you can see, it's a lot less inflamed. I'll show you guys a before picture. I'll just put it over on the side so you can see what it looked like before. But right now, it definitely does look better. But obviously, the skin needs to kind of heal over, and that's going to take a while. And then if you look, that's like the other part of the wound. But yeah, it is definitely looking better than before so she is doing well so that's our little snake update for you guys who have been asking so this is two weeks in wounds still the way to go but they are looking better we are seeing progress and that's what counts so yeah i'm currently editing this video and realized that i never filmed an outro so thank you guys so much for watching today's video hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your notifications are on. I will be posting more updates about this water snake as progress happens. Hopefully, you know, we see more progress soon. But again, it might take a while for there to be a noticeable difference. But if you guys want to stay updated, make sure you're following me on all my social medias. Uh, everything will be linked down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you guys in my next video.